Here's how you can figure out the water depth in a well with just a cell phone. All you have to do is take a object and tap on the top of the well, and then look at the sound file and see exactly where the, the echoes came in at. For the loudest echoes, it's best to put the cell phone right on top of the well cap. Once you download the sound files or video files to your phone, uh, convert them to a .wav file. Uh, there's several online conversions services that'll, that'll do that for you real quick. Uh, once you have the .wav file, open it up in Audacity. And you can quickly see, here's the three uh, uh, taps in, from, from, the, from the video that I, that I had earlier there uh, from when the, the phone was sitting on the wellhead. So if we zoom in on those three taps, we can see that each of them has their echoes uh, from, the, from the taps there clearly visible. We'll go ahead and just zoom in on the third one here and we'll make the screen a little bigger. And what we can now do is use the cursor tool to select the beginning of the first tap there and the beginning of the first uh, uh, echo there to, to see the amount of time that elapsed between when the the, the tap was was made and when the, the first echo arrived, which gives us our, our travel time, tells us how long it took for the sound waves to go down the well and then reflect back up and be recorded by the by the uh, the phone. If you look at here, the, the software gives you the, the, the beginning times and end times. It began at 9.094 seconds in the video and ended at 9.154 seconds of video. So the difference is uh, 0 0.06 zero seconds. So that tells you that's the amount of time it took for the sound to go down and come back up. And to confirm that, we can go ahead and uh, look at this, the time between the first echo and the second echo, uh, which it was 9.214 seconds minus 9.154 seconds. Again, 0 0.06 seconds. So that gives us good confidence that this is indeed the, the echoes uh, that, that were, are coming in there since they were the same amount of time. Once we know that the amount of time it took for the sound to travel, we can calculate the distance that it traveled. Uh, so, uh, of course, distance is just time times the speed at which something is traveling. In this case, the speed of sound for the sound wave. Uh, and sound at the temperature uh, that I'm at here is about 1130 feet per second, 1130 feet per second, or uh, 300 and something meters per second. Uh, we multiply that by the time it took, and that gives us that the sound travel distance was uh, 68 feet. So it took 68 feet for the sound wave to go down to the surface of the water and then come back up. Of course, the water depth is only half of that since the, the distance was both the, the, the down distance and then the return distance. So we needed to divide the sound travel distance by two to get the water depth uh, below the uh, below the, the wellhead there to figure out how deep the water was in the well.